See this episode's show notes for our unique promo code to get up to two months of free podcasting service with Libsyn when you sign up for a new account. Get your show on Apple and Spotify. Get helpful stats and all the support you need to sound your very best. Coffee Time Again, exposing the truth. Welcome to Coffee Time Again, exposing the truth. Dale at the microphone, the show that demonstrates how history repeats itself. He digs into the past, shows what happens and how it is happening now. Follow the path of history to where it goes, then relate it to today to reveal the connections. The culture that forgets its history has no future. A history buff and loves to talk about it, going back as far as ancient Greeks and Egyptians and beyond. So grab your coffee, your chair, and listen to the show. Hope you enjoy. Good afternoon or good morning, wherever you're at. My name is Dale. I'm your host at Coffee Time Again, exposing the truth. And today's guest is named Sam Smith. Samuel Smith, he's uh, a gentleman of color and a good man. I know him. And we wanted to have a local, have a conversation between the races and see what's going on. See what we can do to start the healing. Because it has to start somewhere. Why not with us, in my opinion? So here we go. Let's go ahead Sam introduce himself and get going. Go ahead, Sam. Hit it. Hello, hello, hello. And uh, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, I am Samuel Smith. Uh, I am an individual that has, I was born in 1964. So uh, I'm part of the Jim Crow era. Uh, I've been through a lot. I've seen a lot. I have five children. Uh, I've done many things in my life. I'm an electrician. Uh, I'm a plumber. Uh, I have many. Back in the day, it was not about a piece of paper. It was about getting in there, getting a job, and learning something. And that's what's different in society today, that, you know, now you everybody has to have credentials to do certain things, which is understandable. And uh, we look at things in a perspective to where, you know, it's about knowledge and gaining knowledge. So in that perspective, you know, it, it is something I think is really hard to do when you have individuals that has been through things and, you know, now that they're requiring documentation to, uh, uh, the, it, to, to, to better yourself, it is so hard for us that, you know, because like I said, I've been an electrician. When I started electricity, it was, it was in the 70s, and it was just basic electricity, and we did outlets and, you know, minor, minor things. But um, as time passed, you know, we got into bigger things and, you know, I ended up doing gas. So I got a lot of one of those jack of all trades, you know, master of a few, not of none, but a master <laughs> of a few. So, uh, but, you know, trying to live in society today, it is so hard to, you know, regulate yourself in, you know, the way society is, you know, the, the it's, it's, you, you work for a company and, you know, they, it's almost like they try to take advantage of you and they don't want you to grow unless they have a say so. So that's what we've been, you know, that's what I have been finding out as time passes. You know, uh, uh, I've been blessed to make it to the age of 58 years old. So, you know, I, I feel that, you know, I could bring a lot of, a lot of knowledge to the table and, and bring things forth to where people can understand that, it's it's simply if you simplify, it's 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 easy as going to the library, doing some studies, and 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 basically b preparing yourself for what's to come. And uh, you know the uh, the younger generation, uh, unfortunately, is you know they're relying on certain things, and they're not taking that initiative to better themselves. You're right, Sam. And I did have a question because you mentioned it early on and because I have some younger viewers in their 20s and 30s, like you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. And I'd like, like you to explain to them a little bit. And I don't, you don't have to go into greater details you can as you want to, but explain to them what Jim Crow was. I remember it, too, because I was born in 1950. Yes. Well, Jim Crow was an era where they it was it was designed to uh, hurt or or hinder our, our uh, as, as far as to say, as a minority, as an African-American. And, you know, back then you did not have a choice in, in your say, you know, they made sure it's like riding the bus, voting. I also 
went through the segregation of, of schooling and uh, I had to do, you know, where they took a bunch of black kids and sent them over to the, the white schools. And it was, it was, it was a lot of turmoil at first, but thank God it did calm down. And, uh, the, you know, we, we kind of like had to come to a happy medium and any situation, but, you know, it's still in society today. You can still see the remnants of that Jim Crow, you know, because of the mm -hmm. fact that if you look at, at society, they will give you opportunity, but they'll hinder that at the same time. So it's almost like, here's the door, but we're going to put this wall up to make sure that, you know, we're, we're going to make it a little harder for you, regardless of, you know, how you feel about the situation. You say, fair is fair. And, uh, you know, I look at the situations as, as saying, you know, I, I should have opportunity just like everybody else should have opportunity. And, uh, but which I do understand now that it's all about being certified and, and having that education to do that job. But in my era, it wasn't like that. So we had to learn from either working odd jobs, uh, just trying to make it. So they were not allowing us to go to schools and stuff like that. So it was always hands-on. So I had that hands-on experience other than going through the paperwork and doing that kind of stuff. And as I learned, as I kind of tried to better myself, then I had to go back to the books and, and say, okay, now if you want to be uh, uh, a journeyman or a master, now you have to learn certain certain elements of that trade. Mm -hmm. So that's what we did. And, and we always thrive to, you know, also keeping it low key. You have to keep it low key because if you stood out too much, they you, you were attacked or in a sense where, oh, uh, he's trying to, he's going too far too fast. So we need to stop him. Let, let, let's put some walls up to make it harder, you know, to, for him to succeed. And, and it, it's just, you know, it, it's a shame that society has not went past that since the Jim Crow era. It's there. It's not as heavy, but it's still there. It, it, you can still see it. And that's a shame, you know, but, you know, as far as for the individual, I try to tell you young, the young ones, keep thriving to better yourself, regardless of what happens. You know, you have to keep going because in the end, they're going to need you just as much as you need them. So that's the way I look at that. And I think you got a good point there, Sam. You got, you do need us and I need you. Yes. I'm going to keep it personal. I need you. I need people in my life. I, uh, because where I grew up in a very racist environment, I am not yes. a racist, but I grew up in one and mm -hmm. in my hometown was it was just absolutely up until 72 if you were not white you were not allowed to be in the county See? after dark after dark yes that's how bad it was and that was until 72 correct you know and that was nasty stuff and you know i grew up in the 60s and i remember martin luther king and his nonviolent way to things and i think that's the way to go is nonviolent. However, yes, you have to, you, you definitely, you know, you, you don't want to cause any more, uh, 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 I guess you want to say conflict than what's already there. Right. And, you know, and you try to be the nonviolent, you're trying to get your word out, you're trying to send a message to, to, to the people that, you know, that enough is enough. You know, we can't, we, we got to, if we plan on being a serious and, 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 and dedicated country, we got to, we got to get rid of all these little hiccups. We got to look at ourselves as say we're individuals now and we must stick together because things are getting tougher as the days go by. I totally agree with you. Things are getting rough out there. I mean, with um, all the different, you know, there's the, um, oh, what are they? Oh, I can't think of that white supapremonist group out there. Yes. Yes. There's a lot of the brotherhood. Brotherhood there's, there's and a, Aryan yes. nation. And, and yes, uh, that's yes. not the one I'm thinking about. No, it's the, uh, oh, what's the name of the darn thing? The one that was in January 6th. The one got in trouble there at January 6th, the White House. With the oh, Capitol yeah. Party. The insurrection. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that was, I think that was just a riot that got out of control in myself. I wouldn't yes, call it, it an was. insurrection. It was. I wouldn't yes. call it an insurrection. I, I, me personally. <laughs> you know, I know Correct. what insurrections yeah. are. I live to them. <laughs> mm, exactly. Uh, exactly. But, um, 
Probably, well, I that's just, what I'm thinking I, of. I, I think that if if it had been, and I, and I hate to say this, if it had been minorities that was doing that, that would have went a lot different. You're right. And from what I understand, it was the five boys who were instigators of the whole thing. It was yes. just a riot that got out of control, and they blamed the president for it when he had very little had nothing to do with it. He says, because they all say, we got to fight for our country. And I agree with that. Yes, that's true. You know, but not physically. Exactly. You know, it, you have to do things on a basis where, you know, it's got to be equal. It's got to be equal for everybody. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not just one. And, and you know, as far as this di- being divided, which is amazing to me, you know, after all this time that we're still in that same boat that we're divided. Why are we divided and we should be together? You know, we, we, it's 2023 yeah. and we're still yeah. going through the same things. Yeah. And what happened partially, this is just a partial answer, but I can see it from history, that in 1913, a man by the name of Woodrow Wilson was elected president. Mm-hmm. Okay. And at that, in 1912, the government was desegregated. They had whites in their offices. They had sitting right next to a, a, an African American doing the same work, getting the same pay. Yep. Uh, the military was desegregated. Yes. And all of that was desegregated and racist Woodrow Wilson to all, to all the African Americans, all the people of color, because they weren't just African Americans, there were other people of color as mm-hmm. well, to them all out of the government, including the military. Yes. We segregated the, and I put the, and I believe, and I'm, I get real angry when I talk about World War Wilson because I hate the man so bad because he was such a, such a jerk, such a bad guy. Mm. But, because yeah. he was misogynist and uh, just a lot of things and Zionist yeah, he, and wicked, very wicked. Yeah, th- he was a very wicked man. And uh, he said, I think he said, race relations back a good 100, 120 years. Mm-hmm. Like segregating the government. I think we've yes, been in a lot better spot. And and that's why, you know, I, I still see and, and which is a shame that they still allow certain things to go on. And, yes, they do. and that they should strong. not be going on now. It no. should not be going on now. You know, totally they agree. should be we should be past all that. Yeah. And you know, everybody's because they call this uh uh, uh us Americans and yes. and and that's what we're supposed to be. And mm-hmm. but yet we're gonna put you under under this 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 they say under thumb type of situation yeah. until we need you and then as soon as you are this until we need you and then all of a sudden it's my fellow Americans again. Yeah, yeah. it's called Vietnam. <laughs> yes. Exactly what it's called. You know, I'm yes. not. It's just that they had so many pre- soldiers over there of color, and so many white, but there were more of color than there was of white, as I understand it. Now I'm a Vietnam yes. era veteran. I was in the military during Vietnam, but I never <laughs> went over there. Never went to. Yes. Them, but, yeah, you know. my uncles used to tell me. He said the scary part was you not only have to watch the ones in front of you, you had to watch the ones behind you as well. Yeah. That's the way it was over there. Then I've talked to several people who have been, who had been, were in Vietnam, and they said they had as much danger from the fellow soldiers as they did from the Vietnamese. Exactly. Exactly. You, know, you get those. And that's sort of, a crying shame. It is a crying shame. And it's, I, I don't know if that was that way in uh, Afghanistan during that war or not. I pray to God it wasn't, but I'm sure there was some racism going on. Yes, yes, and then you know, uh, the, uh, especially in Somalia and, and and those countries. I remember what was it back in? I think it was the seventies where they were showing where the they the people were running for the line to to get free from the terrorism, yeah. and they were shooting them, mm-hmm. and and United States were you know they just they, they didn't uh, it was it was almost like. It, it hurt to see yeah. that y'all call y'all self and, but yet you do nothing, you know, certain things you let that take place. And that's a shame. It we is. We need to come together as a country. Yeah, okay. That's what we need to do. And we need to stop all this rhetoric about all this other stuff 
and we need to sit down and say, okay, we can't give you what we promised you, but we're going to open some doors for you so you can make it in society. You know, okay, we did wrong, you know, and it is one thing to say, uh, it's like for me, being segregated and going to the schools, I thought that why would you guys put us in a position to where you know you're sending people, you're sending us to people who hate us? And that's, you know, that that is, that's a conflict of interest. And I don't care in so many ways that you know that's going to be, that's inciting and, and creating more, you know, uh, uh, hatred towards the two because we were already segregated. And yeah. it's like, it's not, I'm from, I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Okay. okay. And, and, and that's where I was born, but I was raised in Brayville. And when we was little, there was a white line that went down the middle of the town. And you had to be on that side of that white line. If they caught you on the opposite side without permission, you got hung. Yeah. I, 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 hangings were part of that, what you're talking about in the 60s and 70s. Yes. The segregation and the busing and the schooling and stuff. A lot of that was due to a racist general by the name of Lyndon Baines Johnson. Mm. Another racist president. Mm. He was a southern bigot from Texas. Yep. Yes, I and remember. Another evil, another evil man. Yes. Another evil president. He was. And, and it's, uh, it's, life life must be, be tangible for we everyone. Need, we need a president of peace like Jimmy Carter. Well, but see, all the ones that was, like Kennedy. Kennedy. They killed. They killed. They killed you Kennedy, know, and they just, they, and Carter messed up. He lost his chance at a second term because of his policy with the uh, hostages. It's what yes. cost him his job. That's the it. Carter was, you know, and he was, he was light. He was light-handed, but yeah. he was, he was a solid individual. Right. And, but he just certain things he could not deal with. He didn't know how to right. sit down and negotiate. And mm. that's what, yeah, he he showed weakness. He showed weakness. And, you know, when Reagan came in, Reagan was the individual that said, no, 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 no. If you do not, this was this is going to happen. Yeah. And, and you know, force that 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 hard hand, heavy hand, as they would say. Yes. And, he was um, heavy handed too. Yes, yes. And but he also caused a lot of problems for us. And and and, and I hate to say back then, Mr. Biden, Mr. Biden called us super predators. And and he set he also set up a role to make sure that we were held to a certain uh uh uh, uh um standard. And, mm -hmm. and and he made people fear, hate, and 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 everybody say, well, you know, come on, he, it, it, it's you, and again, you look at how things transpired as time went on, and you say to yourself, how did they get that? Since they're so poor, and and all the things that's going on, how would they even be able to accumulate that kind of money to get that kind of stuff? So that means something was going on under the table. Yes. They were letting things and that things had to happen for them to do. You know, my mother, my mother, um, she told us, she said, they tried to kill us. They tried to stop us from having babies. And, and I'm like, why would you say that, mama? Why would they do that? And she goes, well, baby, they, they, they told us that they were giving us these shots to help us to, 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 to prevent sickness and come to find out they were giving them sickle cell. And yeah. that's why now I'm sickle cell trait and my children are sickle cell trait. And, yes. and, and it's like, wow. And it's like, they did not try to help. They were actually, honestly trying to hurt. Well, in my opinion, and Margaret Sanger was a founder of Planned Parenthood. Mm. Yes, and, I heard of her name. Yeah, she was a racist and a bigot and a lot of other yep. things. And how but she started Planned Parenthood specifically for eugenics. Uh -huh. Her goal was genocide of the African Americans, or she called them the under, un, not deplorables, what she call them, 
undesirable. Uh, yes, not undesirable. Just, not just some African Americans, but mo people who were uh, mentally challenged, who had mental health defects. Yes, mental defects, uh, crippled. Mm. Were born. You know, she wanted to get rid of all of it. Yes, but yes. primarily she was after the African Americans with Planned yes. Parenthood, and she's still going on to this day. It and so is. is. <laughs> yeah. You more, are definitely correct. More African American children are aborted each year than of white children in two years. Yes, yes. And, you know, you look at the situations and you say to yourself, you know, why is this? Uh, who's allowing this to keep going? You know, because, you know, you, you, you say we're the we're United States. We have the, the highest intelligence. We have all these things that to to stop, you know, uh, um, what what is that? Uh, uh, where Russia came in and did some did some stuff with, with yeah. the Hillary Clinton. And yeah. they, they, they caused a lot of problems. But we're supposed to be the top notch. How is this going on? How it's like we... even they go let the elderly, they let these companies go in there and take these people's money, white, black, mm -hmm. it don't matter. And they're letting them get people's mortgages and, and, and get kicking people out. Mm -hmm. How is this going on when the government is supposed to be not CIA, NICC, all these individual type of uh you know ops that they have out there but yet all this stuff is going on i don't get it i don't understand it either sam what i do I understand though is that it's wrong and what we need to do, what you and i need to discuss now is what's the solution the solution the solution is 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 really is 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 what they call self-impact because the, the 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 solution is has to come within so mm -hmm. you have to make sure that first of all that you are willing and 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 able to handle what's going to come forth because you know if you stand up and you open and you express yourself you will be uh, segregated to uh, manipulation. There's there's all kind of things that's going to come. But, you know, a lot of times now, it's, it's nobody's afraid anymore. So we all have to come to terms with what must happen next. And you have to say, well, is it going to be worth me taking the chance to put myself out there and make sure things are going accordingly? And remember, <clears throat> you look at Kennedy, King, anybody that stood up, that did anything to try to help, was put down. Mm -hmm. So it's it's about, okay, you can't have fear no more. Because it, we're going, like, it's almost like saying we're circling the drain. You know, mm -hmm. they, you know, we look at the other countries and they say, we won't have to do much because by the time... The, everything goes bad because they're already fight, fighting amongst themselves. Yeah, they're well, about we, to have a civil war, yeah. you know, under undercover, because it's all got to be undercover because they don't want the other countries to, because the United States is supposed to be home of the free. Home of the free. Yeah, well, we're not free. Whether you're <laughs> black or white, we're not free anymore. So, exactly. Uh, well, I, I, we're losing our bill of rights. Real fast. Yes. Uh, they're all yes. Al Qaeda under attack. They're like running them over. Yes, as fast as you know, it's like if you don't pay attention to what's going on around you, you'd be like you're getting blindsided. That's like I always say the culture that forgets its history has no future. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what they, they're trying to they're, they're trying to like I don't see how they can actually say we can sweep this under the carpet and let's go on. But no, it's already done. The damages has been done. People are looking at you in a different light now. So you think that the uh, this is uh, a rather sensitive question, but I'm, I'm I'm curious: is do you believe, or is predominantly just a few people in that Black Lives Matter mess? Oh man, you know I I hate to say. I hate to say, but again, 
if if they was going to do something, they should have never stopped. Mm -hmm. This should still be going on just because, you know, they say, okay, we're going to sit down and we're going to have a conversation about this. Okay. But you can talk all day long, but if you, it's, it's putting your foot forward to make things happen, it'll never happen. Okay. You will still be right back. It's like a circle. It's like mm -hmm. you say you get mad, you get angry, then you're happy, and then you're sad, and then you get mm -hmm. mad and get angry, and it's a constant circle. Yes. So as, as long as we keep doing that same thing, we'll get nowhere. Right. Until we okay. actually say, this is what we need to do. Stop. Enough is enough. Exactly. What? And now what? let's make laws. Let's 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 really hold these people accountable. Let's mm -hmm. make sure that things are not and will never happen again. And right. if it does, it's dealt with expeditiously. Bam, yes. bam, bam. Right. Lesson. No second guessing, no nothing. No. I totally agree. I'm totally I'm a big flavor, big, big favor of capital punishment for certain crimes. But I don't believe it should take him 20 years. I should take him about maybe three or four years to go through the appellate system and state, that's it, you're guilty. Yeah, and, and it's almost like saying to 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 individual, we 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 see and we know, but mm -hmm. because if if we held you accountable, then we're gonna have to hold him accountable, her accountable, him accountable, and then it's gonna go up the ladder. And yeah. see, that's what they're scared of because right. once they start, it's got to keep going to the top, and, and they we don't know where want the top it. Is. Exactly. And we know what, right? Of course, they don't. The bigots and the racist and power power hungry because yes. they don't lose a lot of their power if the African Americans get in there and start exercising their power. Not yeah, just and 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 that's a hindrance. It's like you know, you remember back in the day, we go back to Jim Crow. Yeah. Um, when the Black Panthers, when when they started oh, yeah. doing the Black Panther movement, man, yeah. they shut that down so quick, man. It, it made did. your head spin. I remember that. Yeah, they shut that down. There's no way we're going to let you gain that much strength mm -hmm. to where you can stand up for yourself. No way. And we will take major or drastic measurements to stop yeah. this from happening. And that's exactly what they did. And Louis Farrakhan is another one they shut down. He, he's still around, he's still, but he's not as powerful as he used to was, because they exactly. shut him down. Yes, they don't Malcolm, want when they anybody. shot Malcolm X. Malcolm yep. X's own buddy got shot him. See, that was paid. That was that's all government. Yeah, it was. And I hate he, to he, say that. I hate I, to say that. I, you know, I hate because, to hear it. Yeah, you know, it's it's like it's a crying shame to where you can't trust. You know, it's like, you know, another devastating, which I, I still was, you know, believe that they even let that even be aired when they told Muhammad Ali, or actually he was cast as clay. Yes. And and they told him, Yeah, you you now you're the champion. Now you're gonna go fight for your for your freedom, for your people, for your country. And he said, My fight is not with them. They're not the ones hanging us. They're not the ones uh, killing the babies. You are. And that's why they put him in prison. They stripped him of his title. The yeah. truth hurts. Yes, it does. The truth hurts. Yes, it does. And it, the truth shall make you... Truth. The truth shall free you, but first you will Bible, make you physical. Yes, in the Bible say the truth will set you free. free. But first you, you will make you mighty him. miserable. But she will oh. first make you mighty miserable. Truth will get happened. you killed. Truth will get you killed. That's yeah. back to the Kennedys, Lincoln, all that. The truth yeah. will get you killed. Yes. I and, totally and, agree. And, and, I know that. Yeah, and it's a shame that you know, but yet they they'll stand there and smile in your face, mm -hmm. shake your hand, and Sugar pretend like everything. exactly. And then then they pull that plausible deniability. Mm. Well, yeah, and unfortunately, it's not working. At least as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't work with me anymore. Yeah, 
the, the cat's out the bag. It's standing yeah. there. It's screaming. But you still tell me you don't see the cat. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get it real don't make here. no sense. Let's it don't get make real no here sense. And, and, and start a national dialogue. I'm trying to get a panel together, Sam, of very minorities. That'd be like excellent. You. Yes. Like you, you know. and I've got... I've got advertisement out. I haven't had any responses yet. You're the first one who's responded. Excellent. And I'm extremely Excellent. grateful. Yes. And, you know, because this, this is something that needs to be told. It has yes. to be out there. You mm -hmm. know, because the more you hide, the more they divide. You absolutely. I like that saying. I want to steal it from you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the more you hide, the more you lie, the more they hide. I agree. Yes. I totally agree. I think it's the next one saying, I have to remember it. So yes, what are we yeah, going to do? Well, yeah, you know, I, I think we, we, again, we have to go to and, 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 and get our younger generation and, and, and make sure that they understand that this, this, we, this was done for you, not for me. It's like my parents did what they did for me. So mm -hmm. I did what I did for my kids. Right. So now, so you can have a better life. You know, that's the whole idea. And right. I'm willing to die for that if that's what it takes. Okay. You know, because that's what, what my parents do. did for me. Right. So what can I do as a white man? Well, you can, first of all, you, you can always express yourself. And, and, and it's like, you know, I also remember that when we were young, that if, if they found out that there were certain people that was helping or giving a hand, mm -hmm. you know, they looked down on them as well. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's almost like a uh, Harriet Tubman type of situation yeah. because yeah. of the fact that she was bringing slaves and you know, she was trying to, and if they found out if you were helping the, these people, you were, you were treated as just as bad or if not worse. Yeah. So as 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 for yourself, sir, I would say be very uh, conscientious always, always. And I, I definitely like your page because now we have the rights to and we can voice ourselves and, mm -hmm. and, and, and put it out there whether they like it or not. It's called freedom of speech. Yes. So I can tell you exactly how I feel. You might not like what I say. And I'm going to do it as polite as in a polite manner as I possibly can, but I'm still going to tell you the truth. Good. So as long as you keep telling the truth, you're doing your part. Okay. And I appreciate that, that you even give me, allowing me to come up on your station and, and, and voice myself. That's amazing. Yeah. And I hope you, I get the opportunity to do this again. Oh, you will. Yeah. Excellent. If I get some more people together, get some, uh, uh, Hispanics and some more African Americans, yes. maybe LBTQs. Some Indian, yes, yeah, some Native, some Native Americans. Americans, yeah. Yes. Because I, yes. yeah. And because get also, my family, my grandmother is full blooded Seminole. Oh, okay. Yeah, that so, would be about the right place, Florida. <laughs> yeah. Louisiana. Louisiana, all that. That's Seminole. Seminole that's Seminole country. They're the only yes. Native American tribe that whooped the Americans. Yeah. And they did not like that. No, the Americans didn't like being whipped, but they got their fannies handed to them. Mm. Seminole just flat. <laughs> and I loved it. Yes. Yes. So I have that in my blood as well. Yeah. But I also was taught to, you can't, sometimes it's better, it's in order for us to win, you have to lose. And And sometimes you put yourself in a position to where Hey, if I speak out now, I might pay for it now. But at least somebody gonna see that he stood up. He didn't. Mm -hmm. He didn't lay down. He, right. he did what he was supposed to do. Although it got him killed, beat up. Uh, yeah. and there's a lot of things that was going on. But like you said, that goes. That's the king. That's the exes. That's mm -hmm. you know everybody that actually try to stand up for themselves you know anything yeah. can happen anything right. can happen because you're speaking the truth and that's another thing about free you know it can get you killed yeah it can no doubt about it i totally agree with you sam i think that uh 
we still got time here. We don't, we're not out of time yet. We got about 10 good, minutes good, left. Good. We got about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes left. Sweet, sweet. So uh, this is this has been an incredible conversation, Sam. I just can't say how grateful I am. Well, I appreciate your time, You're sir. The risk. And, yes, and and but you know, I look at it this: it's time for the silent to be heard. Yes, totally agree. Right, it'll so stop because I I can't it, I don't do my family or myself or anybody else no good if I remain silent. And I am the same way. I need to start being more vocal myself about some of this on my podcast. Yes. You know, this and I, be, I do appreciate you. Yeah, this will be, I will publish this probably tomorrow afternoon. I'm not going to get it done today because mm -hmm. it, it just takes too much work. Post production is the hardest part of podcasting. Yes, yes, I, 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 I can see that. And plus, you know, I, I definitely, you know, I was looking into certain things and, you know, it's like, you know, it, it does me. I'm an artist. Uh, I do many things in my mm -hmm. life, but one thing I need to do is also express myself. And right. and this is a way, you know, getting out there, telling the people the truth, maybe right. be good or bad. It depends on the truth is the truth. The truth right. is the truth. That's so right. I rather, you know, because my 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 mom used to tell me, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's gonna hurt. I'd rather you tell me the truth than tell me a lie, because if you tell one lie, then you got to tell another one to cover that one up. And you got to remember you... both of them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So mm. it's better to tell the truth and take the punishment yep. than to lie. And, and then real puts, really put yourself in a pickle. Yeah. You know, they could say, I can't stand him, but at least he was honest. Right. And that's what we need to have is more of, I believe, is more people like you are going to stand up and be honest. People like myself is going to attempt to become as more honest and yeah. more vocal in my podcasts and public speaking, which I don't do any public speaking, but I've got a podcast coming up with uh, uh, a bunch of retired people in my new home where I'm moving. Yes, I'll be yes, doing yes. A podcast yes. there too, so I see what I can get from there. So if there's any of color, I didn't see any of color when I was there, but I'll look. Yeah, anymore. yeah, and, and and it's good to get both adversity is is, is definitely a plus because yeah. then you get to see the other side, and because a lot of folks, you know, they were like you say, they had the wool pulled over their eyes. So, mm -hmm. uh, but but back in Jim Jim Crow was no, there was no wool. It was all no. it was all out there. They knew exactly what they was doing. Yeah. It was set up and like, look, Tulsa, Tulsa. They they yeah. blew up Tulsa, and then they, you know, that was the only place that that they actually bought, dropped bombs and, yeah. and, and and killed innocent people. Mm -hmm. I remember. You know, but but you know, you still got to say, and and to them, that's a that's an insult. You're you're opening up an old wound that that they don't want to deal with. They want things to just go away. How come we can't just go away? Well, we are here. We just don't fade away. No, nope. you know you might hope that, but unfortunately, that's been you know it's like tradition. This yeah. is what you're going to remember. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do this. And that's handed down through yes. century and century. My mama and them did that to me. I did that to my children. Yeah. And I pray my children do the same to theirs. Yes. And you don't have any control over what your children teach them. Exactly. I have no control. You know, I just pray that they look at things and, 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 and in the light that they see it in, that people understand that, you know, this is this was done for a reason people yeah. died for this yeah so we well, can express ourselves i'm an episcopalian yeah i'm an episcopalian and our presiding bishop the bishop of all the state united states oh wow it's from south carolina he's a african-american sweet and i don't know if you go and he's wonderful i mean he's the best preacher i have i've listened to him in person i've seen i met him michael curry is his name he's the one yeah. that did the Prayer at the royal wedding here a year or so ago, or four or five years ago. Wow. It's Michael Curry. At the, he did that prayer for him. He did a sermon that was on love that was just incredible because he met the prince married an African American woman. Yes. Yes. And so they had Michael do the do the sermon and it was just an incredible sermon. 
and uh, our bishop in Colorado, our Colorado bishop of the Diocese of Colorado of the Episcopal mm -hmm. Church, is an African American woman. Mm -hmm. We are very, very liberal, very progressive, and uh, getting on. Yes, and things are definitely changing. And, and yeah, we got things are not fast enough. Yeah, it's you know, and and it, it's all really. It, it all boils down to is is if if everybody would sit down. And you know, it's the same. Uh, they would call it like in marriage reconciling. Yeah, they would reconcile. Yeah, and 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 say, you okay? We we did a lot of mean, nasty things. Okay, and it's gonna take time, but let's start fixing this. Let's yeah. let's be one. Let's be one. You and you know? me together are two. Yes. Let it begin with me. Yes. You know it says yeah. that in the Bible. Yep. That's right. And you have to keep pushing no matter what the situation yep. is, is you, as long as you doing right, you know, that's how you know if you're doing right, because then they're yep. going to come after you. Yep. And they're going to cause problems. Well, see, that's how you know back. you're doing it right. Yeah. Because I'm going to title this Race Relations with Samuel Smith. Sweet. Is what I'm gonna, <laughs> this is the title that I'm going to give this when I do the post-editing. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Well, and and gotta, believe me. Go ahead. No, I, I, I am eternally grateful. I don't, I, I've said this before to you, Sam, on this. And I think you've done a great job here this afternoon on what needs to be done, what was going on, and how you feel about it. I, I appreciate you being honest with me. I, I feel yes, you was. I think you were quite honest with me, which is what I wanted. To be yes, just, sir. Bold, bold, honest, and I agree There's with no what you said. To... Well, the problem is, you didn't make me mad, you didn't upset me, and you didn't hope. <laughs> <laughs> so that's marvelous. Because what you said, yes, I have yes. to agree with. I have to agree with it. It's true. Thank you, thank you, thank you, All thank right, you. Sam. Because the object of the game is to to let people see that mm -hmm. we can also have an intelligent conversation. Without yes. all that mess and yelling. all that other stuff, we don't yelling need that. No, we don't need the yelling, the screaming, the cussing. No, no, that's 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 it's, it's all that does is fuel. That's that's yeah. adding fuel that's to the, the fuel. fire, it's and that's all. And, and then there's no ending. Then no. you still feel the same way. You're still upset. I'm upset mm -hmm. because I don't like what you said or. You know, that is that that's not accomplishing anything. No, it's we, not. we have to come to a position to say, okay, do you gonna hear some things you're not gonna like? Okay, but it's how you can address that issue and how to uh, uh respond to yeah. certain things, regardless of what people say. You have to be intelligent enough and not be a Neanderthal and, yeah. and go right right to the oh you offended me and oh you know there's no way you know and, and that's that's just don't make no sense that's why we still go in circle in the dream well part of the reason too is people don't understand you can't make me feel anything see without my without my permission yep you exactly. can't offend me unless i give you permission and i ain't gonna give it exactly <laughs> exactly and then it, this is about life this yeah. is about where we been where we going that's what what are you doing? Yeah, because right. it's all going to come back to what you did, what he did, what he right. said. And, yeah. and and then at the end, then y'all can say, man, that was amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, because then that, that shed some light on things that I wasn't thinking about. Yeah. Or, you know, because like say to have that that other side is to to make sure that regardless of the situation, we come to a happy medium. We it, yeah. and, and then everybody feels good. Yeah. The part of that ad out there that I put out so I can get my panel together says, uh -huh. I don't know your pain. You don't yeah. know my pain. Let's get together and find out what our pains are. They're probably going to be pretty damn close to the same thing. Yes. In most cases. Yes. I don't put that in there, but they will be. They'll be very <clears throat> close. They're the human experience is very... Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. And, and, <clears throat> excuse me. But you have yeah. to be able to it's like saying face your fears. Yes. Face your fear. Uh you're gonna fall. You're yeah. gonna fall. You know, everybody falls. That's yeah. that's natural. But who's gonna get up? 
who's going to brush themselves off. Yeah, who's get back on the going? horse. Get yes. back on the horse. You, you have to. You do. If you plan on making it, you have to. Yeah, you do. And, and it's best to confront things that you, it's like, say, confront your fears or whatever. But it's, it's, it's like, well, it's, it's, it's not a fear. It's, it's inevitable. I already know this. I've, I've been raised in this area. So, so in a lot of these uh, young, young individuals, they say, well, what can we do to better ourselves? It yeah. says, be on top, be on top, yeah. be smart, be smart. Don't let them, just because they tell you something, that don't make it true. No. Go and research. Check it out for yourself. I say that on most of my Find podcasts. Out. Yes. That's right. The Louisiana the, the Tulsa thing, you've got to dig deep into that to get that. Yeah. And then they get mad at you because you're digging. Yeah, I know. I've had that happen. Yes. They, threw me they don't off like that. YouTube. They, they, they kicked bad me from YouTube for a while. Wow. But anyway, our time is up, so I'm going to okay. stop the recording, but I'm not going to leave yet, so just hang tight. Okay. Thank you for listening to the show. There are show notes and a place to comment at https colon forward slash forward slash coffee dash time dash again dot lipson dot com forward slash website. He hopes that you liked what you heard and will tell others about him. Dale is attempting to get a following that both disagrees and agrees with him. He does not want yes men. If you disagree, wonderful. He is happy to have you here as a part of the Coffee Time Again team. Dale does not talk about the news of the day. He is attempting to give a history lesson that is just as important about what is going on in the headlines of today. Please do not hesitate to contact him. Just remember that Dale wants a clean show, meaning no cussing, name calling, yelling, or hate aloud. You can disagree with him and not be disagreeable about it. Support him and keep help keep this alive https colon forward slash forward slash glow dot fm forward slash coffee dash time and dash again